In tonight's Ask Anthony, I'm continuing to get answers for our viewers in Putnam County. Neighbors sent me pictures of these dirt roads in West Putnam near Interlochen. And today, a viewer sent me this picture that you're about to see right here of a UPS truck actually stuck on their road. They want these roads paved and they don't understand why the county won't do it. I made the drive to West Putnam to see the problem for myself and get answers from county commissioners. It seemed like that area out there west of Putnam mm -hmm. has been neglected. Earlier this month, Dan Steele came to see me at an Ask Anthony listening session at Corky Bell's Seafood because he's tired of dealing with the unpaved roads in his neighborhood. We're in a bad situation out there. Steele lives off of Twin Lakes Boulevard in West Putnam near Interlochen. He wanted to know why money wasn't being used to pave these roads. After I spoke with Steele, other neighbors contacted me saying the dirt roads are becoming a safety issue. One woman told me an elderly friend's car recently got stuck and had to be towed. That means that fire trucks, ambulances can't get to some people. I emailed their concerns to all the Putnam County Commissioners. Larry Harvey was the first to respond. He invited me for a tour of the area so he could explain the problem. We pave roads out of our one cent sales tax. Commissioner Harvey drove me down Twin Lakes Boulevard. Now look at the elevation up here. While explaining that drainage and budget issues are the reason 95 miles of West Putnam roads have not been paved. When you're looking between 800,000 and a million dollars a mile to pave, to take dirt to pave, you gotta make it effective where people, the most people live. So it's gonna be $95 million, $100 million to get something like that done. And it just, we don't have the bonding ability to make that happen right now. Another complaint from neighbors is that many of the dirt roads don't have stop signs or other street signage, and it's hard to tell where you're going. They're also concerned about EMS and police and fire getting out here in case of emergency. What is your response to well, that? Well, the signs are a problem. The minute we put them up, they get taken down. We don't like mm -hmm. that. We try to respond as fast as we can. We don't know it unless someone lets us know that they're, they're gone. We have seen cases where we put them up, the guy goes down the road, comes back, the sign's gone again. Many of the landowners in this area pay an extra tax to the Municipal Service Benefit Unit, also known as an MSBU, that's used for road and drainage improvements. Harvey says people in West Putnam are only paying for the roads to be graded, not paved. So what can be done to get these roads paved for the people who live out here? State statute requires, if you're going to have an MSBU, it's gotta be for a specific item. So it can't just go, we can't just take your money and say we're going to pay this road and you live down here. That's not fair to you, okay? The fairest thing is for everybody to work together and all the lot owners and pave the roads in that area. Come up with a plan and bring it to us and we'll be glad to listen to it. So if you live in West Putnam, MSBU meetings are the third Tuesday of every month at the Interlochen Community Center on South County Road 315. And Harvey says that's a chance for you to voice your concerns about different issues and also provide possible solutions. Remember, if you have a problem you just can't solve, you can always email me at askanthony at firstcoastnews.com.